Okay, hope to give you guys a new spin on this whole video thing. Bear with me, and I'm going to narrate just a moment here. What you're going to see is that over here after the uh, collapse of the bridge, that's the white truck that videoed it, um, you're going to notice that the construction crew members start hoarding around here, uh, gathering around, trying to evaluate what was going on. They knew that this was a significant section there. Uh, there's no one standing there at this point. Now, but other thing to note is that they don't appear to be running to help anyone else. So this is more important to them. Here we go. So we're going to watch. Uh, we already the crew member already came out. But watch how this ga how they gather up on top of here. Of course, we know that. Okay, there's a. Uh, here we go. Give it a moment. Bear with it. I wanted you guys to get it from the beginning. Okay, we got two guys climb up. One walks away, the guy climbs up. Now we got two doing whatever they're doing. I don't know if they're... They're, they're not concerned about people crushed under the bridge. Let me put it that way. Now we got three. One guy had appeared to have his arms behind his back, head, wondering. I'm going to zoom in on this too, but we're going to let it play at this, uh, this here. But notice all these guys gathering on top of the bridge. People under this bridge are... are, are or dying or dead, and they're all they all know the significance of this node at this point. Then they disappear like flies, like flies, bad flies. All right, so now we're going to zoom in. Okay, two workers climb up, one goes off, one grabs something, another one grabbing something. I want to see you doing something. This one's got his hand behind his back, head a little bit, goes back here. He knows moving something around. Head behind his head in disbelief, if you will. That's my impression, of course. That's me putting that on him. My projecting. Look at all these workers up here on top of the bridge, evaluating. Obviously, they're workers. Poof, poof, scatter, scatter. First we get to Florida Department of Transportation. This is their, their letter. This is F Florida Department of Transportation. Let me pull this down for you. You can see that's the website above where my mouse is showing, page one of one. This is immediately released, saying that basically that they did not in capital bold letters. Again, this is not an F, F dot uh, project. F dot role. F dot's role is to administer funding and perform a preliminary review for general compliance with the agreement between FIU and state. FIU's design build build team is responsible for the proper and safe completion of this project and for compliance with all applicable laws, all applicable laws, and engineering and construction standards. So they are that they are in bold letters explaining that they are responsible for that all laws and engineering construction standards maintain be maintained. Additionally, any testing done to the structure following its installation was the responsibility of FIU design and build team. So additionally, any testing is F dot is saying FIU, which I've said in other videos, FIU is the is the uh, code enforcement authority for this job site. It's amazing that the university is. They're also the code enforcement. So of course they're not going to find themselves in fault. Now watch. Et cetera, et cetera. You see where they're saying they're limited. I'm just going to pause that for a second. All right. But they just said it's limited to this. But right here, it's not. They And construction standards. But yet they, they then reverse their way out of the bold letters down here. Is is right here where it says with 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 FIU and its contractors are solely responsibility to inspect and maintain. Right here they can make a statement under the terms of the procurement issued by FIU and due to the unique characteristics of this design of the bridge, an independent secondary design check was required. Under this project, it is the responsibility of FIU's design build team to select the firm used to conduct the independent secondary review. Now, this is important. The firm selected, Lewis Berger, was not at Florida Department of Transportation pre-qualified for this service, which was acquired under FIU's agreement with the state. 
FIU's design build team is responsible for selecting a pre-qualified firm and ensuring this process is followed. Okay, they they bailed out on it. They said that that uh, Lewis Berger is not qualified. If we Google Lewis Berger and FID, F Lewis Berger Group Incorporated and in Florida Department of Transportation, you will find that in 2014, Florida Department of Transportation did have an association with them. Um, 2018, specifically January 19th. Uh, right here, Florida Department of Transportation.gov. Depart so they, they said they're not qualified, yet obviously they are qualified. Let's see if I can bounce over. This is an FI, Florida Department of Transportation right here. F.gov. Clearly, Team D has, and, and highlighted, I highlighted, the Lewis Burger Group Incorporated. Fig was on this job also. Not specifically this job. This job is relating to, as I scroll down for you guys, Related to this location. All right, so Florida Department of Transportation is, is immediately throwing uh, this this you know, trying to backtrack and throw that the engineering um, testing. So that that's something to be said there. Something to be found there. With that said, we then go to Miami. So Lewis Berger has been around for a while. Turns out they're in my home state, Pennsylvania here, and they're uh, they're related. See, so, yeah, Harrisburg, PA, founded. Blah blah blah. Around. That's the engineer. All right. So this is Fig's statement. We are stunned at the tragic collapse of the pedestrian bridge that was under construction over Southwest 8th Street in Miami. They Fig, they, they, how they distanced their own selves. They worked with MCM. Who, what, what is Fig Build Engineering's role in the project? They're holding out that, that here is, the owner is now, uh, um, she, the, uh, the original owner died. He's a male uh, character who dies. Now, uh, Bridges in History. This is by... This was addressed to Linda Fig. Linda Fig is the wife who is now, as I understand, the president. Now, I do know a couple of engineers that dealt with her, and they said, terrible, terrible dealer. So but jumping go. back to here, notice that there's no grouting here again, as I mentioned. Now, with that, no grouting. With that said, we ju let's jump on that node. I'm going to jump around here. So the node has obviously uh, been jackhammered into uh, to remove some grout they had there. It appears, or I'm going to call it grout. Okay, let's move away from that. So there's the fig, the fig uh, bridge engineers by Judith Dupree, just so you know. W. Denny Pate. Pate, I'll say. Professional engineer. W. Denny Pate, he's the engineer that did this. Pate is also, take note of this, Pate. Who is Pate? So let's get you some clarity on Pate. So now as you see, fig bridge engineers, even though they claim to be out of Tallahassee, they're right up here in uh, Pennsylvania, Exton. They try to change, distance themselves. It appears that they try to distance themselves, Fig, with, with Linda Fig, by putting up Eugene Fig, who's now dead. And, in fact, if you can, can you know, Wiki, 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 uh, Wikipedia, you can change the roles here. What it's leaving off is the uh, Fig Engineering. They said they're based in Tallahassee now. Um, they're leaving off Linda Fig, and they're leaving off Pate, so you don't get a cross. Pate is the uh, vice president. So we search Fig Engineering Group. Let's see if we can pull this up. So now if we go to Fig's, Fig's site, there's the FIU statement, everything. It leaves Pate off. It looks like it throws a dead man under the brush, Eugene Fig, as... As you see here, if you're a student who is passionate about bridges, apply for the Eugene Fig Association, etc. What to leave off is Linda Fig and the entire search off their website. When you go to their website, uh, you got Fig Philosophy. Uh, you can go to uh, Bridges and Art. It's just leaving off uh, the Pate Engineer, and it's leaving off uh, Linda Fig. We go to contacts, you know, you've got nothing going on. Now they, they're nowhere in Exton, PA. They're now just in uh, Tallahassee, Florida, as far as their, uh, their, their posting goes. If we go backwards, we clearly see that their internet website is Exton, PA. And that was the website I clicked on as I went backwards.
And they throw Eugene, here it is again. Eugene uh, Fig is now the dead man that gets thrown under the bus and not the senior representative, Pate. Um, uh, author, about the author, W. Denny Pate, P. He's the engineer that did the bridge. As you recall, uh, they're the ones that, per here, that the uh, what is Fig Bridge Engineers role in the project? Fig Bridge Engineers Incorporated is the designer of the bridge working for MCM, or a designer of the bridge working for MCM. W. Denny Pate P.E., who is the uh, stamped engineer of the plans, is a senior vice president and principal bridge engineer with Fig. And is so now you know who Pate is, but you also see that they're trying to distance themselves by not adding Pate nor Linda Fig as the owner. Okay, is Fig Bridge Engineers working with authorities? Fig Bridge Engineers We followed all processes. FIU. International University. Guy, this would be him, basically, in my opinion, throwing himself under the bus if he says that we didn't do this. He Remember, he's the uh, permitting authority. He's the one that permits things to go on there or not, and he's always supposed to be on top of this, obviously. And it's a structural engineering school, if you will. Okay, so he's saying we followed all. Of course he's going to say that. Here we go. Competitive bidding, two-phase process. Competitive bidding. And by chance, their entire uh, competitive bid went to uh, alumni, alumni of their schooling. An independent engineering company uh, that uh, has, is fully certified by the state that was recommended to us. by. That's their pushback. Fully certified and recommended to us by the state. That's their engineer. He said recommended, whereas the state made it clear that they said that that's not, that guy wasn't uh, certified. F dot. F dot, the Florida Department of Transportation, for its part, is distancing itself from the bridge construction. Fernandez Rendell says her office is looking for information from the public to help them get as many answers as possible. We followed all processes, competitive bidding, two-phase process, an independent engineering company uh, that uh, has, is fully certified by the state that was recommended to us by FDOT. Let me stop there with that. So let me give you a different look. He's saying, but he's, we followed all this preliminary stuff, but we're talking about current day. Did you follow your inspections? That's what we care about. Not whether you followed uh, your bidding process. That, that's not a concern at this time. You know, sure, if they were, you know, if we can go back in time, but we can't go back in time. So he's not stating that they followed their inspection process, which you would want to hear from a building inspector. Building inspector, as far as I'm concerned. Followed all processes, competitive bidding, two-phase process, an independent engineering company uh, that uh, has, is fully certified by the state that was recommended to us by FDOT. So that's their position on that. All right. Thank you guys for watching.